I've crunched all of this data for one of Bitcoin's best indicators that not only predicts exactly when the next BTC all-time high will occur, but also at what price. So here is where the maths is currently predicting where this bull cycle will peak. Today, we're going to be trying to mathematically predict the next Bitcoin all time high. And where better to start than the Pi Cycle top indicator we have here on BitcoinMagazinePro.com. Now, if you weren't already aware, the Pi Cycle top indicator has historically been one of the Bitcoin's most accurate metrics for predicting when the BTC all time high is going to occur. We can see here from these two moving averages, the 111 day moving average, which is this orange line, and this green 350 day moving average multiplied by two, that when these actually cross over during a bull cycle, it gives these amazing signals that we can see indicated by these vertical lines, which have always historically signaled within three days of the all-time high occurring, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. A metric that's multiple years old that has called accurately every single one of Bitcoin's bull cycles. If we go down here just for a little bit of information. It's called the Pi Cycle Top Indicator because if we divide 350 by 111, it's the closest we can actually get to the number of Pi, which is 3.14, when dividing 350 by another whole number. Just a little bit of fun information for you. So how can we actually use this metric to maybe predict where Bitcoin's going to top out in this cycle? Well, before we do that, what we can also do is alongside just the traditional Pi Cycle Top Indicator is look at the Pi Cycle Top and Bottom Indicator. Essentially, what we've done here is just made an oscillator using these two moving averages to not only give us an idea of when we could potentially take profit on our Bitcoin positions when this line reaches this upper red region, but also potentially when to start scaling into our positions when Bitcoin's price may be bottoming out. And again, this has been incredibly accurate, it giving some amazingly reliable and profitable buy signals throughout all of Bitcoin's price history. So if we actually use these two bits of data in unison, we can maybe forecast giving recent Bitcoin price action trends where we could maybe top out. We can look at historical cycle patterns to maybe get an idea of how long this cycle may be continuing after today. As I film this, it's the 22nd of July. So all this data is currently up to date as of you watching this, just a couple hours from when I'm filming this. So if we go here, which is just a Google sheet, what I've done is utilize the Bitcoin Magazine API, which is available with a site subscription. And if I just move myself over here, we can see all of the metrics along this list where you can actually just get the raw data directly from our site to potentially manipulate and come up with your own forecast predictions, valuations, etc. however you'd like. And what I've done here is just pull this raw data of the Pi Cycle Top indicator. And this way we can actually maybe look at historically how these peaks have occurred, because while this metric has been historically great at predicting when a cycle peak is going to occur, like we could see within three days throughout all of Bitcoin cycles, it's been incredibly accurate. It doesn't necessarily immediately give us an indication of it what price we're likely to peak at. So what we can actually do is use this data to look at the percentage which price is above these two moving averages when we cross to get a little bit of an insight into where we can maybe expect Bitcoin's price to be at the moment of them crossing. So what I've done, like I said, is manipulate a little bit of this data so we can actually gain a little bit of insight into one, when these crosses are occurring in terms of the raw data. So the first one was the 11th of the 5th, 2011. And when this cross happened, the Bitcoin price was 340% above the two moving averages at the point of their cross. So what I've done is crunch all of this data. If I just go all the way down here, we can see every single one of Bitcoin's crossing instances. And if I just go to the bottom here, all the way down, quite a lot of data, we can see that throughout all of Bitcoin's history, we've had multiple different crosses. And the first one, which we saw in this example previously, was 340%. That's the price above the two moving averages as they cross. The next one was 299%, 258, 179. And then the most recent cycle, just 32%. So this maybe does give some credence to the diminishing returns argument. We're seeing a lot of people start to maybe believe in for this cycle and really what we have seen evidently from the previous few cycles. So what we can do here is actually see the decrease in percentage terms from the previous one. 
one. So this, the second cycle peak we got from the Pi cycle top was only 87% of the previous cycle. So this first cycle, 340% Bitcoin price above the moving averages. The next one, 299%, which is only 87%. So we can actually map out the diminishing returns. So 87, then 86, then 69, then 18%. So it's definitely looking like we may not even get at least 32% above the moving averages in this cycle. Although maybe with institutional inflows, illiquidity, who knows, maybe diminishing returns isn't going to be true this cycle. But what we can also see is looking at the Pi cycle days here of the previous two cycles, what I've done is calculated the amount of time it took from us crossing out of the buy zone in the Pi cycle oscillator to actually reaching this cross. So in the previous two cycles, so from 2015 to 2017, and then here in 2019 up to 2021, we can actually look to see this was 898 days and 721 days. So what I've done is taking the average of those two, so 809.5 days. And like I said, as I film this, it is the 22nd of July. So we can use yesterday's data as the closing day's data. And I can actually look to see the trend of this 350 day moving average. So what I've done here is if you see in this column, this is the previous six months of trend from this moving average. So for example, if we just look at this green line here, we can actually kind of map out to say it's probably trending in this direction. We can see historically it's it's impossible to predict exactly how this line is going to move. Historically, we can see it does trend in pretty much a straight line until it doesn't in the latter stages of a bull cycle. It usually increases quite exponentially in the latter stages. So maybe even in this cycle, we exceed what the maths is currently predicting us to top out at. But like I said, I'm just using the previous six months of data and then assuming a constant increase following this data. So right now that 350 day moving average multiplied by two is sitting just beneath $97,000. It's predicting today's 350 day moving average multiplied by two to finish at $96,933. So maybe we can see how accurate this is, but looking at a 0.25% daily increase in this metric, we can actually forecast through and through so what I did is use that average of the previous two cycle lengths and actually just calculate when this may occur. So using 809 days, which was the average, it's actually giving us a potential topping out point of the 22nd of April 2025. So again, if we just go back to this metric here, if we just assume again that they're on very similar trends and they don't maybe change too much, then again, aligning with previous cycles and how long they took and scroll all the way down. So what I've done is just follow that data until the 22nd of April, 2025, where it predicts the 350 day moving average multiplied by two to be currently at $193,000, which is pretty crazy to think about a Bitcoin moving average to be near $200,000 and price likely to be considerably higher than that. So again, what I've done is just use the previous cycle. So like we said, in that first cycle, we were 340% in terms of the Bitcoin price action above those moving averages at the point we crossed. So if we saw something similar, we'd see a Bitcoin price of $853,000, which may be a little unreasonable for this cycle, but as we said, who knows? And then going down, we can actually see 773,694, etc. If we were to follow the previous cycle exactly in terms of how much we exceed the Pi cycle top indicator moving averages, then we'd see a Bitcoin price topping out at $256,000. And then what I've done is, again, assuming diminishing returns. So like we could see in the first cycle, it was 87% lower in terms of these moving averages and how far we surpassed them. And then it was 86, 69, etc. So if we were to assume diminishing returns, this cycle we may only see if we were to follow the first cycle's diminishing returns, a 28% Bitcoin price increase above those moving averages, or that we follow the second cycle, again, a 28, but it's like lower 28%, then a 22%. And then if we're to, again, follow the diminishing returns of the most recent cycle, which would be just 18% of the previous cycle, then we're likely only going to exceed these moving averages by about 5.9%. And overall, they would give us, if we're assuming these percentages above the moving averages at the time of cross, which we're predicting, the maths is currently forecasting this to be about $193,000, then we could see a Bitcoin price topping out at anywhere between $249,000 or $205,000 on April 22nd, 2025. So less than a year away, we could see a Bitcoin price far exceeding $200,000. 
Also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. And make sure to check out all the resources we discussed today, as well as the many more that are all available on BitcoinMagazinePro.com, your number one source for Bitcoin analysis. So just to summarize, the Pi Cycle Top Indicator has historically been incredibly effective at timing cycle highs within just three days. And using this metric alongside the Pi Cycle Top and Bottom Indicator, or the oscillator, we can also ensure we're front running any mass profit taking. Like we could see with the Pi Cycle Top oscillator, the Pi Cycle Top and Bottom oscillator, we can actually see when we're approaching that red zone, maybe start taking profit just a little bit before then. If we wait until the actual Pi Cycle Top indicator cross, which I'm sure many, many people will be doing this cycle, then it may potentially be too late. If you just imagine it $100,000, if everyone said, I'm going to take profit at $100,000, then someone just says, well, I'll take profit at $99,990. And then someone says, oh, well, I imagine other people will be selling just below. So maybe we don't reach that point. Maybe we only reach $97,000, for example. So if we're getting very, very close to a pie cycle top indicator cross, it may be worth just start scaling out or consider putting some stop losses on your positions just in case we do get a mass take profit at that event. So we can also look at the trend of this data as well as taking into account previous cycle patterns to predict when and at what price this peak may occur within our current bull cycle. And with current data pointing towards a top of around April 2025, with a Bitcoin price somewhere between $200,000 and $250,000, we hopefully have some very positive price action to look forward to over the coming months. Although do keep in mind that this data is constantly evolving. I've done these calculations today as you are hopefully watching this, but by tomorrow there's going to be very slight alterations in that data and every single day it's going to be slightly, slightly different. So we may revisit this in a couple of weeks or a couple of months to see what it's currently predicting, but just keep in mind that this isn't an exact science. This is just using what we currently have available to us. But if we did this two weeks ago or two weeks from now, we'd get slightly different results. If you liked this video, then please visit BitcoinMagazinePro.com where our analytics help you to cut through the noise to help make informed data-driven decisions about Bitcoin. With over 150 live chats, personalized indicator alerts, in-depth crypto industry reports, API access, and a whole lot more all for a fraction of the standard industry price. And to celebrate the launch of Bitcoin Magazine Pro, we're currently offering a free trial for all new site subscribers. So don't miss out on this limited time opportunity to try out all of our advanced features completely free of charge. And let me know what your thoughts are on potentially Bitcoin topping out in early 2025 with a price exceeding $200,000. Do you think that's a possibility or do you think that's maybe a tad optimistic? Let me know what your thoughts are both down in the comments below and on social media. I look forward to reading and replying to all of them. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.